How's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich or Right Away. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. What I got for you guys today is another episode of Road to Diamond Submachine Guns, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited for this episode. Also, just to add in to make this episode just a little bit better and a little bit happier for me, uh, I recently just passed my road test. I literally passed it about. I'd say about almost two hours now, and uh, it's actually amazing. I'm finally able to drive, you know, by myself. I don't have to drive with, like, a guardian. And I don't have to drive within, like, a time frame and everything like that. I can finally drive by myself and uh, whenever I want, pretty much. So I'm really, really excited for that. I kind of just wanted to add that to this video just so I can look back and be like, hey, this is the video where I said I passed my road test. So as you guys can tell, I'm pretty happy about this. But I hope you guys are happy for another episode to Road to Diamond Submachine Guns. In the last one, we actually got the Gold Vesper. So, of course, now we're moving on to another submachine gun. This time around, we're going to be going with the Weevil. That is the next submachine gun. And uh, these are the attachments I'm going to run. I actually did not put perks on, so let me do that right now. All right, we are good. We kind of filled up the class a little bit more, but I'll show you guys the, some of the camos that I have for the Weevil already. So I have Jungle Tech, Ash, Flak Turn, and Heat Stroke. So we got a lot of camos to go. I think we're going to get, like, maybe up to, like, I don't know, Integer maybe this time around, or just six speed. Just do a little bit of headshot challenges for today, earn a couple of camos, have some fun with the Weevil. And uh, also, I, just, I got two cool camos for this weapon in the Black Mark. I got this one, Field. I believe this one's a common, but this one's actually a rare. So I'm going to rock this one for today's video. It looks really, really awesome. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you guys do, drop a like. Seven likes is going to be the goal. You know, just leave some feedback and just leave a rating. I just want to see some feedback from you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right into the game. Alrighty, guys, this headshot time. Back to stage one, of course, for, again, you know, the gold camo for the weapons. And I see this guy. Why has he got to be running? Oh, we got a headshot either way. There we go, boys. Oh, nice. That guy was focused on another person. So that was a good opportunity to get some headshots. This guy is throwing in things. Ooh, and we still get him with the headshot. Uh, unfortunately, the second one was not a headshot, but uh, alright, it's all good, that's all good. I gotta say, though, the Weevil is definitely a good submachine gun in this game. Like, it's very, very usable. Definitely reminds me of, like, the P90 from MW3. If I, if I had to compare it to a different weapon, definitely the P90. That guy's on the ground. What are you doing, boy? We still get the headshot off. Oh. Oh, my lord, I was mid-reload. But there we go, we got Snow Job. So, uh, pretty weird camo name, not gonna lie. But still, we got it. So there's Snow Job. Oh. Oh, nice. Alright, I didn't know if we got the headshot because I leveled up. I didn't see the headshot medal. Oh, there's two headshots. There's the times two headshot medal. That one, that one looks nice right there. Oh, that jump shot. Oh, God, I did that guy dirty. Oh, that headshot. Yeah, the Weevil... It's so good for getting headshots, I seriously mean that. Red Dot on the Weevil seriously works wonders for getting headshots, seriously, oh my lord. This is like, kind of piece of cake, I'm not gonna lie. So honestly, not too bad of a start just using the Weevil and just trying to get headshots with this. Uh, pretty awesome weapon, I gotta admit, just for getting headshots, so I think I'm going to enjoy getting headshots with the Weevil, it's going to be pretty smooth, I think. We also did get Snow Job that time around, and uh, yeah, we're really close to Dante. Honestly, I just kind of want to keep playing and just see where we go from here, because it's a lot of fun getting headshots with this weapon. It's actually kind of funny how much we actually get combined while going for headshots. Like, I feel like the COD gods know we're going for headshots, and they just want us to have a good map. There was literally a person right behind that guy, and he just didn't even realize. But we got Dante. We got the Dante camera, which is awesome. Oh, that headshot, though, and the thaw, oh, but the game ends. But we got a headshot the last second, so that was good. So in that game, we actually unlocked the Dante camo, and honestly, the Dante camo, probably one of the coolest camos in the game. It just looks like, I don't even know, it reminds me of um, Tiger camo in Black Ops 1, if you guys remember that. Definitely similar to that, but it just looks really, really nice. Combine once again, and we just keep getting it, and uh, I really can't complain. Oh, God, that guy was jumping, and somehow I got him. Oh, almost a double. Ooh, Annihilator Shutdown. Uh, but then we get killed by the Tempest. Back to back Tempest. Okay. Makes sense. What is with the Tempest? Oh my gosh. We just unlocked the Elo site, so I'm actually gonna put this on because I kind of prefer the Elo site over the Reflex site, so let's see how this goes. Oh, first kill. First blood. We get a freaking headshot with the Elo site. Oh, is that a headshot? Damn, alright, cool. Oh, and we also got the integer camo. I didn't even realize, but yeah, there we go. The integer camo, definitely one of the cooler camos as well in this game. Alrighty, guys, but I think that wraps it up for this video. I'll show you guys kind of the progress we made in today's uh, kind of episode. So, we had, I think, up to heat strokes, so then we obtained the snow job camo, the Dante camo, and the integer camo. Three camos we obtained today. 
for the headshots, and I think this was a good introducing kind of video or kind of episode for the Weevil, and I'm also excited to continue on with this gun, because I think it's going to be kind of like a smooth sailing with this weapon. Uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, pretty easy to use, honestly, in free for and everything like that. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode of Road to Diamond Submachine Guns. If you guys did, drop a like or dislike. I just want to see some feedback from you guys, and uh, just remember to leave a rating. If you guys are watching up to this point, make sure to comment in the comment section down below. Dante, because this is obviously a really cool camo, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys had a great day, and I'll see you guys on another one.